Hello, and welcome to adding an involved person. The Involvements form is used to document all of the various entities that are involved in an activity or incident, including people, other organizations, vehicles, and items. This training will focus specifically on adding involved persons. There is a very likely chance that the person you're adding here does not already have a record within your perspective system. So we will add two people here. First, looking at adding someone who does already exist in our system, and the second time, looking at someone who does not. Before we get too far into this training, please note that while we will be using the incident form here, this same process applies to adding involvements on activities as well. To add a new person involvement, click the Add New link. In the window that opens, we can see the Linked Person field. This is where we can either search for or create a new person record. Many companies choose to make the Linked Person field a required field. By doing so, they have consistency in spelling, can help reduce accidental duplications, and most importantly, have the ability to maintain a history of that person's involvement in all activities and incidents. There are a couple of ways to search for a person here. First, start typing the name of the individual directly into the field to display a list of records matching the characters that you have typed. The more you type, the more refined this list will be. But be aware that this will only display the top eight matches. We'll see a more global search option in our next example. If the person's name is displayed, you can select it. Once selected, you'll notice that the details section will populate with information from this person's record that has been saved within your system. We'll come back to these details in just a minute. Next, we need to indicate this person's involvement in this incident or activity. And just below this are a series of check boxes to indicate more detail. Check off any of these as they apply. In the details section, as mentioned earlier, we can see the details that have pulled in from this person's general record. If these details need to be updated, you can add to or update this information as needed. But be mindful that this process does not update the general record at the same time. This only changes this person's details as they pertain to their involvement in this activity or incident. After completing this form, we will have an opportunity to update this general record, which we'll see in just a bit. A little further below, you can see a couple of links, the first of which is add clothing details. Here, if this person was wearing any unique clothing, you can specify the type of clothing, color, and a description. Below that are the injury details. Here you can add the information pertaining to the type of injury and a description. Because there are required fields in both sections, click the red X in the top right corner of each box if you happen to open the section but don't actually have any details to enter here. Lastly, we can see a flag section. Flags can be used to get more information across regarding these individuals and can also be used for producing statistics. It is recommended to select the yes value when it applies, otherwise leave the flag status as unknown to prevent any false positives. Click OK to add this person. As mentioned earlier, if you have updated this person's details, you may need or want to also update their general record. Once added, ensure the person is selected and then click on the Go To link. This will take you to that person's record within the person's data forms, where you can then edit the general record, ensuring that these updates carry forward should this person ever be involved in any future activities or incidents. To return to the incident, click on the incidents in the navigation pane to go back to where we left off. Let's go through this process one more time, this time looking at how to add someone that does not already have a record within our system. This time, in the linked person field, click on the green plus sign this allows for two options. One, it can be used for a more global search of your person's data forms, as we discussed earlier. The previous method we saw for searching only shows the top eight matches. This method will show you all records that you have access to. The second option that we have here is access to the Quick Add button at the bottom of the window. Clicking Quick Add will open a blank person data form which, once completed, will create a record that will be saved in your person's data forms that could be selected again in the future should this person be involved in any later activities or incidents. With that in mind, try to add as much detail here as possible, including any unique features that might apply, identification information, trespass details, as well as contact information. Also, because this creates a new record that will be saved in your system, this process should be a last resort after exhausting all possible searches so as to avoid creating duplicate records within your system. One other consideration here is that the initial security settings of all records created within Perspective will mirror the settings of the user who created the record. 
Keep this in mind if you have higher security settings than the majority of other users, because if you do not set these settings appropriately, other users may not be able to see this record, hence another reason for possibly having duplicate records within your system. After completing the data entry for this new record, click the Save button to close this window and return back to the involvement form. You'll see the details that you just added to the person record, and you can now complete the rest of the form in the same manner as we saw in our previous example.